did a lot of great things. The Sweet 16, uh, you know, even though we didn't play our best tonight, uh, they should be very proud of what they've accomplished. Uh, the Zaga program is now among the, the nation's elite, you know, year in and year out. And um, I think you can really credit an awesome senior class. I mean, those five seniors have meant a lot to me personally, a lot to me professionally. And, um, you know, I'm just proud of, of, of being their coach. They're going to be great successes in life, you know, uh, just like they were successes on the basketball court. So, uh, great group, great group of young women. I, I, I love them to death. I love this team. I love how we came together and, uh, and accomplished a lot. I can't believe it's over. Like, I spend every day with these girls. I mean, so it's just going to be hard not, you know, having them around all the time. Obviously, you know, we're still going to hang out and everything, but it's different, you know, it won't be the same. So, it's very sad that my ride has come to an end. I think 12 NCAA games, uh, I think that's something that a lot of us seniors never imagined us doing. Coming in as freshmen, uh, you know, when you're a little kid, you dream about, you know, playing in huge games and everything, but I don't think we ever suspected that we would be playing in the Elite Eight or the Sweet 16 three years in a row. So we've got a lot to be thankful for, and we've had great six. I'm really blessed to have this experience and play with the players I play with and be coached by all the coaches and to go to Gonzaga and be a part of this community and to be able to experience, you know, our fans and the kennel and the school, just everything that comes along with being a Zag. I'm just really proud and really humbled that I got to share this experience and I've had a really good time and I'm sad that it's over, but everything has to come to an end at some stage. Coach keeps telling us that with the team that he saw in the beginning of the year, he never expected this from us, and we were able to overcome that and you know bring together uh, you know transfers and freshmen and all these kids that had never played before and throw together a team that was able to make it to the Sweet 16. So um, I love these girls with all my heart, and you know, some of them are my best friends. Some of them I look at as sisters, and it's gonna you know really suck um, when I have to you know say goodbye to them at graduation. But I still have another month and a half to you know get to be with them as much as possible and you know I think they understand what it's like to be a Zach now and what it's like to win and what it's like to be here and what it's like to expect this and I think that this is not the last time you see Gonzaga. Not is that that's for me that's it. I sh took my jersey off in there and I don't know if I'll ever put on another one. Um, and that it's been amazing but um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I just wish we had another game. <laughs> so I love them and their support. I mean, it means so much to me that, you know, obviously the people who did travel here to Rhode Island to watch us, that's incredible. I mean, my family probably traveled 12 hours just to get here. You know, just their support, and I love them, and thank you for being here. Amazing. Um, just the close-knit community, you know, on campus and even surrounding Gonzaga. Everyone knows and everyone is a Zag. Um, you know, you don't know what that is until you experience it. Um, it's just, it's, it's a weird feeling knowing that I'll never put on a Gonzaga jersey.